Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. I recently did a deep dive into the WordPress theme directory. In that process, I identified the nine most popular themes based on active install counts. Nine seems like an odd number, right? Well, nine is a number of themes with more than 100,000 active installs. I'll quickly review these top themes and then discuss the things I see as interesting and significant. Note that this count does not include the default themes that ship with WordPress Core. In the grand scheme of WordPress active installs, 100,000 may not seem like a lot. Keep in mind, however, that plugin numbers are always higher. A website might use a dozen or more plugins, but only uses one theme. This deep dive made me appreciate that even 10,000 active installs of a theme is a good success for the theme author. There are a few themes that show the same number range of active installs. In those cases, I broke the tie by also ranking them within that set by the number of five-star reviews. The ninth most popular free theme is the Hestia theme by Theme Isle. It's described as a modern WordPress business theme that uses Material Kit design. It's a multi-purpose one-page design, a widgetized footer, blog news page, and a clean look and it says it's compatible with Elementor. We see it has more than 100,000 active installs, 411 five-star reviews, and if we look at the downloads per day, which is a nine-month chart, it looks like the usage is holding steady. Hestia has been around since at least 2016. It was originally introduced to replace the Theme Isle Zara theme and was promoted as a one-page material design theme suitable for business. The value proposition was that the companion plugin added the ability to edit sections on the home page in the customizer so that a novice business owner could easily create their own site. Over time, the theme got support for Elementor, and later it was pitched as a more general purpose theme that would work with any page builder, though it still has a strong Elementor slant. When you activate Hestia, you get this options panel where there's a recommendation that you install the companion plugin OrbitFox. When you install and activate it and go to the customizer, you see the default layout of the theme and these front page sections are easily edited here in the customizer. So that's a little bit old school, but it still works, and I imagine it would be pretty performant. One other thing is that when you install OrbitFox, you get these features like social sharing, Gutenberg blocks, uptime monitor, analytics integration, and so on. And you also get access to this template directory. And then if we go to the theme aisle website for Hestia Pro, we see it's available in annual and lifetime options, and you can get it for one site, three sites, or unlimited sites. And the higher packages include pro starter sites, and the agency package includes white label and live chat priority support. So that's the Hestia theme. The eighth most popular free theme is Sydney by A Themes. The theme description states that Sydney is a powerful business theme that provides a fast way for companies or freelancers to create an awesome online presence. As well as being fully compatible with Elementor, Sydney brings plenty of customization options and provides all the construction blocks you need to rapidly create an engaging home page. If we look at the stats, it has more than 100,000 active installs, 433 five-star reviews. If we look at the downloads per day, it looks like activity might be falling a little bit. Oddly, when we activate Sydney, there's no mention of a companion plugin, but if we search on WordPress.org, there is a companion plugin, but it only has two and a half stars. If we go back to the theme dashboard, we see that Sydney is promoting starter sites. And so if we activate that, we see these are the Sydney starter sites, and they all require Elementor. There are five free starter sites and 16 pro ones. And if we go look at a page in Elementor, includes five Elementor widgets, and I think the pro theme has nine. This is what the default blog page looks like, kind of a slight blue and orange accent color, which I think is attractive. If we look at the customizer, 
It has a few more options than Hestia. And it looks a little more modern. If we go to the A-Themes website for Sydney, we see that it is an officially recommended theme by Elementor, which is a feather in its hat. I think there are only like 10 or 12 of them. And if we look at the packages, we see that you can buy an annual or lifetime single theme, or you can buy a bundle with all of their themes. So that's the Sydney theme. The seventh most popular theme is Color Mag by Theme Isle. It's described as the perfect responsive magazine style theme that's suitable for news, newspaper, magazine, publishing, business, and any kinds of sites. If we look at the stats, it has more than 100,000 active installs, 1,224 five-star reviews, and it looks like the activity downloads per day that it's holding steady or declining perhaps slightly. The first version of Color Mag was released in the WordPress theme directory in 2015. As the name implies, it's a magazine style theme. When you install the companion plugin, you have the option to go to import demo content. The demo sites are vibrant and attractive, and they target niches where magazine themes are frequently used. Here are the demo sites. In total, there were 27, eight of which are available for the free version of the theme. If we look in the theme customizer, we see that there are a fair number of options. This is the default blog page, but for the most part, the theme seems to rely on Elementor for more sophisticated layouts. If we look at the Theme Grill website, we see that you can purchase the theme singly or in a club plan, either on an annual or lifetime basis. So that's the Color Mag theme. The sixth most popular free theme is a storefront theme by Automatic. The theme is described as a perfect theme for your next WooCommerce project. It's designed and developed by the WooCommerce core developers and features a bespoke integration with WooCommerce and many of the popular customer-facing WooCommerce extensions. It has a lean and extensible code base, making it easy to customize and extend. The storefront theme has 200,000 active installs, 104 five-star reviews, and it looks like the active install rate is holding steady. When you look at the front page, like this is the default blog, you see that it's simple and clean. And if we look at the customizer, we see that it has a fair number of options, but not a ton. Storefront was first launched in 2014 by Woo Themes that became part of Automatic, and it's been a go-to for WooCommerce websites for a long time. At one point, the WooCommerce team was considering putting the theme into maintenance mode because it was old and had many deprecated functions. However, they decided instead to update it and refactor the old code. And I think that's why the interface is still looking clean and modern. Storefront doesn't have a pro version per se. Instead, there are extensions that you can buy to add features to the theme, such as a mega menu, pricing tables, a parallax hero option, and so on. All of the extensions are sold on an annual subscription. That's the storefront theme. The fifth most popular theme is Neve by Theme Isle. And this is the second theme by Theme Isle in the top nine. And they're the only developer to have two themes in this top group. Neve is described as super fast, easily customizable, multi-purpose theme. It's lightweight, has a minimalist design, and is highly extensible with SEO optimized code. It works well with Gutenberg and most popular page builders, including Elementor, Breezy, Beaver Builder, Visual Composer, Site Origin, and Divi, as well as with WooCommerce. If we look at the stats, we see that it has more than 200,000 active installs, it has 648 five-star reviews. 
And if we look at the downloads per day, we see that it's holding steady and maybe increasing a little bit. Neve was launched in 2018 specifically as a general purpose page builder friendly theme. Shortly after its release, Neve was offered on AppSumo, which helped to get the word out about the theme, and that has contributed to its rise in popularity. However, Neve is not just a marketing success, it comes with a flexible header and footer builder, as well as a good set of customizer options. When you activate Neve, you're prompted to install the Theme Isle Starter Sites plugin. And you see that this has a huge number of starter sites, 121 for Gutenberg, 122 for Elementor, 48 for Brizzy, 99 for Beaver Builder, 10 for Divi, and 10 for Thrive Architect. So that's a huge number of starter sites. My experience with Neve is that it's fast and clean. Let's go ahead and import this home page. And this is what that minimal blog template looks like. If we go to the Theme Isle website and look at the packages, we can see that the pro versions are available in annual and lifetime options. They include an Elementor add-on, and the higher packages include uh, premium starter sites, a WooCommerce add-on, priority support, and the agency package includes white label and template cloud access. So that's the knee theme. The fourth most popular theme on WordPress.org is Generate Press. This is a lightweight WordPress theme built with a focus on speed and usability. A new Generate Press install adds less than 10 kilobytes to your page size. The theme works with Gutenberg and all major page builders, including Beaver Builder and Elementor. Thanks to its emphasis on WordPress coding standards, it's fully compatible with all well-coded plugins, including WooCommerce. If we look at their theme page, Generate Press has more than 300,000 active installs, 1,203 five-star reviews, and if we look at the downloads per day, it looks like activity is increasing slightly. Generate Press was first launched in the WordPress theme directory in 2014. It was one of the first general purpose page builder friendly themes. Although it's not mentioned in the self description, Generate Press is something of a minimalistic theme and the developer has resisted adding features that can be achieved through a bit of CSS. The theme is well coded, very flexible and has legendary support. Generate Press is used by some of the top WordPress designers in both the Elementor and Beaver Builder communities. Generate Press was recently completely rewritten to take advantage of new technological advances and to also work well with Gutenberg. This was achieved without breaking backwards compatibility. The Generate Press team has also released a free and a premium Gutenberg plugin that works well with the theme. The premium version of Generate Press gives access to more than 60 starter sites, some that are built for Gutenberg, but others that are built for Elementor or Beaver Builder. If we take a look at the home page, this is what the default blog page looks like. You can see it's a clean and straightforward design and has a number of customizer options. Generate Press is available in yearly or lifetime packages with use of up to 500 websites. So that's the Generate Press theme. The third most popular theme is the Hello Elementor theme. It's a plain vanilla and lightweight theme for Elementor Page Builder. It has over 700,000 active installs, 59 five-star ratings, and if we look at downloads per day, it looks like the activity is remaining steady or increasing a bit. The Hello Elementor theme launched in 2019, and it's already the third most popular theme in the WordPress theme directory. It's very close to the minimum required by WordPress to qualify as a theme. If we go and look at the front page, we see this is what the default blog looks like and this is what the default post looks like. If we look at the customizer, 
we see there are no additional customizer options. The theme is not meant to stand on its own. Instead, the intention is that everything is, should be styled using Elementor Pro and its theme builder. There are no starter sites for it. There's no companion plugin. There is no premium version. This is a theme created solely to be used with Elementor Pro and it has more than 700,000 active installs. That's the Hello Elementor theme. The second most popular theme is the Ocean WP theme. Ocean WP is described as a general purpose theme that's lightweight, fast, highly extendable, and suitable for almost any kind of website. It has unique WooCommerce features and works with most popular page builders, such as Elementor, Beaver Builder, Brizzy, Visual Composer, Divi, and Site Origin. It's the best friend of Elementor and WooCommerce. OceanWP has more than 700,000 active installs, 4,621 five-star reviews, and it looks like the activity over the last nine months is holding steady. Ocean WP was added to the WordPress theme directory in 2017. It was the first theme to add a very large number of customizer options in the free version, and this won it a lot of fans. While the description of the theme mentions other page builders, Ocean WP has always had a strong Elementor focus. About two years ago, Ocean WP switched to the freemius platform and the transition did not go well. It took a while to get the licensing problems fixed, and that disrupted the theme's momentum. It has, however, recovered. If we go to our test site and we activate Ocean WP, we see that it has a theme panel where you can go, and these basically take you into the customizer. There are a large number of demos, and if we go into the customizer, we see that there are a very large number of options. The default design is very clean and looks very nice. We go to the Ocean WP website. We see that in addition to the free demos, there are also a large number of pro demos. There are a large number of extensions, some of them free and some of them paid. And if we look at the pricing, we can see it's available in annual or lifetime pricing. So there are 15 free demos and 109 pro demos. So that's the Ocean WP theme. The number one most popular theme, the WordPress theme directory is Astra by Brainstorm Force. Astra is described as fast, fully customizable, and beautiful general purpose theme, suitable for any type of website. It's very lightweight and built with SEO in mind. It offers special features and templates so works with all page builders like Elementor, Beaver Builder, Visual Composer, Site Origin, and Divi. It has more than a million active installs, 4,804 five-star reviews, and if we look at the activity in the downloads per day chart, the activity is increasing over time. Astra theme was added to the WordPress directory in 2018. Brainstorm Force, the company behind Astra, has add-ons for Beaver Builder and Elementor that are very popular. The theme and plugins are sold together in bundles, which no doubt helps increase popularity. Brainstorm Force also has a very popular Gutenberg add-on. When you activate Astra, and go to the theme options, we're shown that there's more than 150 starter templates available. And you can see that they have them for Elementor, Beaver Builder, Brizzy, and Gutenberg. And actually the Brainstorm 4 starter templates plugin also has more than a million active installs. There's no other template plugin that's in that same league. These are the same sites that we saw on their website. If we look at the customizer, you see that there are some customizer options. There's a header builder and there's a footer builder, but you get many more customizer options when you install Astra Pro. If we look at their website, these are some of the additional features you get with Astra Pro. 
And if we look at their pricing, we see it's available for annual or lifetime, but also that you can buy Astra standalone or you can buy it in a bundle. The essential bundle, you choose whether you want the ultimate add-ons for Elementor or for Beaver Builder. And the growth bundle includes both plus a number of other plugins and access to their SkillJet Academy. And I think these other plugins that work with the page builders are one of the things that help make Astra very popular. When we're looking at the website, again, we have a very simple, clean design that's easy to style and customize. So that's the Astra theme. Now for some discussion and conclusions. In reviewing the most popular free themes on wordpress.org, I see four groups. At the bottom in 7th, 8th, and ninth positions, there's Hestia, Sydney, and Color Mag. These are older themes that are still very functional, but feel a little dated in comparison to the more recent offerings. In the middle is the second group, which is actually just one theme, Storefront. This is one of the only themes in the group without pre-designed starter sites. It's one of the oldest themes. It has survived and fared well because of its simple yet flexible design, which looks a lot like one of the general purpose page builder themes in its initial state. It's benefited from the popularity of WooCommerce, but also by the decision of the theme developers to update and refactor it to keep it relevant. The third group in third position is the Hello Elementor theme. Unlike the other themes, Hello Elementor is almost an anti-theme, largely existing just as a placeholder. If ever you wondered about the popularity of theme builders, the large number of active installs for Hello Elementor should make it clear that this is a central feature for many site builders. It's not uncommon for me to recognize a Divi site, for example, because of its header style. But that obviously wouldn't be the case with sites built with Hello Elementor, which is intended to be replaced by custom design templates made using Elementor Pro. At the top, we have Neve, Generate Press, Ocean WP, and Astra. These themes have several things in common. They are general purpose, page builder friendly themes that have a very plain initial design, but have a good number of customization options that make them easy to adapt to different niches and brands. They also have extensive hooks available in the pro versions that make them even more extensible and appealing to power users and developers. This page builder friendly group, because they are initially more neutral, but easy to customize and extend, are popular among freelancers and agencies who build a large number of sites each year, pushing their active install counts up. Additionally, all of these have a good number of starter sites. Offering pre-designed starter sites is something common to all but Storefront and Hello Elementor. I knew that easy to use pre-designed content was a popular feature, but this review has shown me that it is even more popular than I realized and may even be a requirement to break into the 100,000 active install club. Not surprisingly, the older themes had starter sites that seemed a bit more dated. Another surprise from this review is that a strong association with Elementor has played a role in the elevation of these themes. The Hello theme Generate Press, Hestia, Neve, Ocean WP, Sydney, and Astra themes are all listed on the Elementor website as the best free themes for use with Elementor. Most of the themes in the top nine offer Elementor-based starter sites, and many of them include special Elementor features, such as Elementor widgets or add-ons in their premium versions. And of course, the Hello theme is Elementor exclusive. Most of the themes also provide excellent support in the WordPress forums. This is likely another key to their success. Users who don't get their questions answered promptly may move on to try a different theme. The Hello Elementor theme has almost no responses in its help forum, perhaps because it's not meant to be used as a regular theme. I was surprised that the response ratio for the Astra theme was mixed. In the past, they usually did a pretty good job on support, but maybe they are overwhelmed by the theme's popularity or the support team was cut back due to the pandemic. Overall, I was surprised at how few themes there are with over 100,000 active installs. I expected there to be many more. What this means is that these nine themes are in a class by themselves, and among these, Astra sits in the throne at the top of the heap. It has hundreds of thousands more active installs than its closest rivals. It also seems to be the one that is growing most quickly. There are newer, more modern themes such as Bloxy and Cadence that are getting a lot of attention, but it's unlikely that these would approach Astra's numbers anytime soon. 
So I hope you found this review of the most popular free WordPress themes interesting. I shared my insights and things I was surprised to discover. Did I miss anything important that played a role in these themes' success? Or did I overlook some important characteristics of these themes? If so, please leave a comment sharing your insights. There's a text version of the video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.